but there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dumb lord's bitch. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. Uh, I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? <laughs> you not think you're so damn right? Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. You want us bound like this thing? I'll see you dead first. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! Yeah, no, that's a bad idea. Especially when you're all knocked out. Oops. And just like that, you guys are dead. The danger has passed, Katojan. Calm yourself. Did you react because your lead was threatened? How much of this is just blind instinct, I wonder? You can't gesture or, or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. The sister has assumed a great deal from a few grunts and twitches. You did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? Right. Could have expected that answer. Keep control and remember who is on your side. <laughs> Of course. I expected no different. And a chest. At least now I got the last descent boots. I still need the chest piece and the helmet, and I'll have the full set. You will hold Basra Bashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of his Karatom were killed by Talvashov, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Serabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Serabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. And see, that's interesting. There's a trail that purposely led them to where I was going to be. As if a conflict was supposed to start. The sister called him Katojan. You are Sarabas? Sarabas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad? 
My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who lead the queue. Or Baas who have not yet been enlightened. You don't care that someone abused your dead to get you here? No doubt they were cast from your shoulders as you or your partner thieves grew weak. It is a crime whose victims are beyond caring. It will be dealt with, but the greater threat is clear. It is my role to secure Sarah Bass. It is the role of another to purge the perversions of your kind. Like you guys are any kind of saints. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebos have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Like so many others. We leash Cerebos because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. Is a mage like Bethany so threatening? I don't see it. I'd hope not, brother. You and Sarah Bas, Bas Sarah Bas, are of the same womb. Vashedan, Neira Setar Karasam. You spewed your words at me like a demon trying to poison my control. Like this mage, the cube requires your death. But we're no threat to each other. Bas Sarah Bas, you will be no threat to us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, he attacked me. I was just trying to have a chat. There, sister down. Oh shit. Damn, everybody's getting filled. You know I'm about to get hit. Oh man, I forgot to summon Bark Spawn. What am I doing? Get a Bark Spawn! Shit, I have no stamina either. He's gone now. certainly become one out of the fight. Deserve honor. You are now Pasvaran, worthy of following. I thank your intent 
even if it was wrong. I know the will of our Varad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kuhn. So after all of this, now you want to die? I do not want to die. I want to live by the Kuhn. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? Arvarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kuhn. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. It is the only choice. As it tal ebb. It is to be. Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my Keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. How I return is my choice. It must be. But that does not mean there is no meaning. My job ended when we exited the city. The rest is up to you. You know of certainty and borders. You are closer to the Canari than you admit. Your role would change little if you accepted the Kuhn. Take this secret thing, Basfaran. Remember this day. No! He was such an interesting character. I know a lot of people agree with me, but it would have been really cool to actually have him as a party member. It's unfortunate that that happened. But the creature was free. She may not have known about this, but clearly Patrice set a trail right to us. Yep. Why arrange this only to subvert it? I need answers. We all do. There's definitely some shenanigans afoot. And not the fun cheeky kind. That was definitely one hell of a fight. <clears throat> Not that much. I gotta remember to keep Bark Spawn out. I have him for a reason. He's definitely helpful in combat too. He's such a good boy. Yes he is. So we'll go back and yell at her. Be like, what were you thinking? Was the point of setting me up? You achieved nothing. Other than to piss me off. That's really not a smart thing to do. I'm not a person with uh, my skill and abilities. And soon, influential power and status. Leave nothing. It must be clean with no ties. It... Well, my helpful associate from the streets. You took the Canari from the city? Without incident? You know what we faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, 
I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Ketogen killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug, you are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. And now we have religious zealots. They have extremists everywhere. Again. Seven sovereigns is nice, though. Very nice. <sighs> See, Kunari are still a race. They're not monsters. They're still people. Just a different kind of people. With different views. You start treating everybody with different views as monsters, then you're going to see monsters everywhere. And then it is you, in fact, that becomes the monster. I'm gonna try again. Go to the hangman this time during the day, see if it's any difference. I should have met her by now. I um I swear. I don't know why I haven't. Last mission left. Oh, but I brought Abilene. Abilene's gonna be pissed about this. She's not gonna agree with what's about to happen. To the Chantry. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars.
No, I guess it still remembers that I saw all this. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. Take another mage as you took him. Oh shit. Two play the Throwing shit at people game. What did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But... It's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. No! The tranquil I've met seem content with their lot. Maybe it's not that bad. You have no idea. Your emotions, your dreams, everything stripped away on someone's whim. If I were made tranquil, I would wish for a friend compassionate enough to kill me. Carl, I'm sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. We should leave before more Templars come. But the loot! The loot! No, my luck, another piece of the armor was there. That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthi, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. This spirit sounds like a useful friend to have. He was far better to me than I have been to him. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, 
bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that. I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Can Justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Remember that. And this is the only thing that kind of sucks because if you pay attention to the lore, especially depending on the choices you make in Awakening, this never should have happened. And yet somehow it did. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Is there anything I can do for you? You're the first one I've ever told this. Thank you for not running away. My maps are yours, as am I if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens, but if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. And I'll take Anders with. Holy crap, 90% cooldown for all spells. And it's passive. I can get that just for getting vengeance and just making sure he never activates it. Your tactics.
see, what other abilities do they have? Oh yeah, self any. And then activate that mode. All right. While this mode is active, nearby allies should be quickly, even in the heat of combat. Oh shit! Cannot cast any offensive spells. Start to change tactics up a little bit. Actually, would Glyph of Paralysis be considered an offensive spell? I would think that'd be more support. That's good. We'll go ahead and if any allies are below 50% you can do 8 allies. But then he also has heals as a backup. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. History of Kirkwall. Hey Anders, what's up chat? I had a friend like you once, got in all kinds of trouble, dragged me along, didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. I just, I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can only make them with a true heart. Well, under that scruffy exterior, I think you've got a bit of a soft heart yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? See? Hmm. I don't know if I would use uncomfortable because if he's making advances, it's like it's whatever. It's, uh, I would just say not interested. I just wouldn't be day by and be like, ooh. So it's now by saying yes, I'm gonna end up pissing him off. Because it really doesn't bother me. It's just that obviously that would not be the direction that I had this character going. So, whatever. I don't want you thinking about me that way. Everyone wants to control my thoughts. Fine. I hear you. Strictly professional. Oh, we can still be friends. See you now, rivalry. Shit. We have much. He gets to do. angry at me because I want them to get my pants. That's not fair. Same thing with Everyone's Everyone was trying to hit on me, and I'm like, nah, bro. Not really, bro. I hate using that word. <laughs> I was doing that as a joke, but, like, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. And then he gets all pissy because I'm like, no. Enemies Among Us. Oh, no. Ugh. Well, I don't have any mission critical things left, so I'm pretty much done. I don't know what else is really left to do, except for maybe to speak to Bartran. Do 
Excuse me. Sense either uh, male or female, humans, dwarves, kunari, elves, and then from there you can go ahead and choose from that whether you want to be a male.